Oh, hi there. My name is Paul Koulos, and I'm a company member at the Antius Theatre Company. Thanks so much for checking out our tour as part of the Antius Theatre Company's podcast series, The Zip Code Plays, a celebration of diverse history and culture in six Los Angeles neighborhoods. I look forward to getting to know 90272, the Pacific Palisades. So, let's hit the road. We are at the Will Rogers State Beach. The Palisades have been described as where the mountains meet the sea, and I think you can see that here is pretty true. This beach stretches along the entire length of the Palisades. Oh, also fun fact, this was also the site of uh, where they originally shot Baywatch before they moved to Hawaii. Our next stop here is the Ames House, which is unfortunately closed due to COVID-19. But we're going to sneak in anyway. It was built in 1949 by Charles and Ray Ames, and it's a landmark of mid-century modern architecture. It's two adjacent mid-century modern buildings uh, that have bright colors and cool angles and lots of stuff that we can't see right now. Uh, it's where they lived their entire life and had their home and studio in it as well. All righty, here we are at stop number three, the So Chateau. I'm gonna hop in right now and go check it out. Pretty cool. If you're over at the So Chateau, you might as well go get yourself a pick me up over at Estate Coffee. They have delicious coffees, tasty salads, sandwiches, drop up, pick up, order delivery. They got it all. I'm gonna hop out right now. Palisades Bluffs Park. This is a great place to see the sunset. And I'm not bluffing when I tell you it is a beautiful, beautiful view of the entire Palisades coastline. Here we are, stop number six, the Getty Villa. This spot has everything. It has art, it has antiquities, it has theater, except not right now because of COVID. It was started by oil, oil tycoon J. Paul Getty, who was an avid collector of art and antiquities. After he ran out of room in his adjacent gallery to his home, he started this great Getty Villa to house his extensive collection of Roman, Greek, and Etruscan art. Right now we are on the Murphy Ranch Trail which is a three and a half mile hike. So here we go. Just a little bit of the view from our hike. There are so many stairs on the way down here. If you take enough steps, finally you'll reach the Murphy Ranch. This ranch here was to serve as a Nazi compound, uh, completely self-sufficient with its own water supply, irrigation system, and oil tank. It was there to uh, support the Air Schmidt foretelling of Nazi conquest in the United States. The mystery of Air Schmidt is about a mysterious Air Schmidt who we are not certain if he existed. It stopped construction in 1941 when the United States entered World War II. Since then, lots of people have come here and uh, spray painted it. Doing the uh, virtual tour here was the smart choice because there's a lot of steps to do on the way back up from the Murphy Ranch. That's it. That's the tour. You did it. We explored all of 90272. Be sure if you do come out here that you uh, do check out the ocean at sunset because it's it's stunning. Seven stops, one wardrobe change, a complete hike. I think we did pretty darn good and you got to do it from the comfort of your home pretty awesome. It's been my pleasure to uh, take you through 90272. If you haven't yet, be sure to check out the Antia Cedar Company zip code plays, especially the one in the Palisades, which takes place at the place we were just at, the Murphy Ranch.